Demo 9.20 Complete Fulfillment In this demo, we will complete the fulfillment process for our sales order. In the Change menu, select Transaction VL02N Single Document. Enter the data in the Outbound Delivery field. Then click the Enter icon to continue. The Outbound Delivery Overview screen indicates that the picked quantity is now 40. Click the Post Goods Issue button to complete the shipping process. The system displays a message stating that the delivery document has been saved. Click the back icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now view the change in our storage location stock balance. In the Stock menu, select Transaction MB52 Warehouse Stock. Enter the material, plant, and storage location. Next, click the Execute icon to view the stock balance. The system displays the Display Warehouse Stocks of Material screen. The screen indicates that there are no longer any DXTR3000s in stock. After the goods for the shipment were issued, this amount decreased by 40. Click the back icon twice to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now check the balance in our storage bin. In the display menu, select Transaction LX03 Bin Status Report. Enter the warehouse number, storage type, and storage bin number. Then click the Execute icon to continue. The system displays the bin status report overview screen. The screen indicates that there are no materials in the storage bin because there are no bikes in stock. The storage bin is also empty. Click the back icon to return to the initial screen. Enter the delivery document number in the storage bin field to check if the interim storage area is empty. Also, remove the data from the storage type field. Click the execute icon to continue. There are no data to display. The interim storage area is also empty because the bikes have been shipped to our customer. Click the back icon twice to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. Next, we will create the invoice to send to our customer for the shipment of bikes they received. In the Billing Document menu, select Transaction VF01 Create. Enter the Outbound Delivery Document number in the Documents to be Processed section and click the Execute icon to continue. Click the Save icon to create the invoice. Note the net value, $120,000, because it will be helpful later. The system displays the document number in the bottom left corner of the screen. Note this number and click the back icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. Next, we will post the payment that we received from our customer. In the Document Entry menu, select Transaction F28 Incoming Payments. Enter the document date, bank account number, amount, and customer account number. Next, click the Process Open Items button to continue. The Process Open Items screen shows that the invoice was selected. Verify that the not assigned amount is 0.00. .00. If the amount is correct, then click the Save icon to post the payment from the customer. The system displays the document number in the bottom left corner of the screen. Note this number and click the back icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now view the accounts that have been affected by the completion of the fulfillment process. In the Account menu, select Transaction FAGLB03, 
Display balances, new. Note, for a graphical representation of how the accounts are affected, see figure 9-37 in the text. Enter the account number, company code, and fiscal year. Then, click the Execute icon to view the balance display. The system displays the balance display screen. To view the line items debited to this account, double-click the debit balance. The line item display screen indicates that no new documents have been debited to this account. Click the back icon to return to the balance display screen. Next, double-click the credit balance to see if any new line items have been posted. The line item display screen indicates that a new line item has been credited to this account, decreasing the inventory balance. Click the back icon twice to return to the initial screen. Change the account number to the trade receivables account. Then click the execute icon. The system displays the balance display screen. To view the line items debited to this account, double-click the debit balance. The line item display screen indicates that a document has been debited to this account. Click the back icon to return to the balance display screen. Next, double-click the credit balance to see if any new line items have been posted. The line item display screen indicates that a new document has also been credited to this account. This document is the offsetting entry for the document that was debited. Click the back icon twice to return to the initial screen. Change the account number to bank account and click the execute icon. The system displays the balance display screen. To view the line items debited to this account, double-click the debit balance. The line item display indicates that a document has been debited to the account. This document is the customer payment. Click the back icon to return to the balance display screen. Next, double-click the credit balance to see if any new line items have been posted. The line item display indicates that no new documents have been credited to this account. Click the back icon twice to return to the initial screen. Change the account number to the sales revenue account and click the execute icon. Double click on the credit balance to view the line items posted here. The line item display screen indicates that a new document has been credited to this account. This document is the invoice that was sent to the customer. Click the back icon twice to return to the initial screen. Change the account number to the cost of goods sold account. Click the execute icon. To view the line items debited to this account, double click the debit balance. The line item display screen indicates that a new document has been debited to this account. This document is the goods issue posted for the shipment. Click the back icon three times to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now look at the balance of our customer's account. In the account menu, select Transaction FD10N, Display Balances. Enter the customer number, company code, and fiscal year, then click the Execute icon to continue. To view the line items debited to our customer's account, double-click the debit balance. The line item display screen indicates that a new document has been debited. This document is the invoice that was sent to the customer. Click the back icon to return to the balance display screen. 
Next, double-click the credit balance to see if any new line items have been posted. The line item display screen indicates that a new document has been credited to this account. This document is the payment that the customer sent. Demo 9.20 Complete Fulfillment